Hello, my name is Mark Cubbon and I have the pleasure of talking you through some of the headlines around how we have developed a new strategy for our organisation here at Portsmouth Hospitals. The strategy came about uh, in response to a number of conversations that we had across the organisation, many staff asking about the future direction of the Trust, our key aims, our objectives as an organisation, and it's very much been a bottom-up exercise to make sure that those views, the ideas, the considerations that come from a great number of our teams have all been fed into the strategy that you see today. I've been involved with the engagement of staff and stakeholders with the development of the strategy and in particular with the development of the values. Our core values of working together for patients with compassion as one team always improving have been developed with our staff and stakeholders. They represent a set of expectations for how staff conduct themselves with patients and with their colleagues. They ensure that we work together to deliver our vision and our priorities as set out in our strategy and we see many examples of this happening every day. The core values help to shape a positive culture and reflect what our organisation most treasures. They are the golden thread running through everything that we do each and every day to deliver great care for our patients and service users. This is an exciting time to be working at Portsmouth Hospitals and be part of a journey to developing our culture of continuous improvement for our staff, our communities and our patients. So timely care for the community is dependent on two things really. The first is about what we do internally within the hospital, all right, and the other is about the um, relationships that the hospital has with community partners. Patient flow is a collaborative effort. It requires everybody within the hospital to do their bit. It's really important that we have a positive um, relationship with our military counterparts. We have nurses, healthcare support workers, uh, medical assistants and medics as well. It's really important that military work alongside our NHS counterparts and colleagues in the hospital. Um, that's in order for us to gain skills and continue um, with our competencies and clinical nursing skills to deploy on operations as and when we need to. It's important that we deliver that compassionate care and that we recognise that we keep our patients at the centre of everything we do. We come to work every day to make sure that we deliver a high quality standard of care to these patients and women. That is what we need to keep at the focus of what we do every day. The patient voice is very important. When we help yeah. people, it, it just, somebody goes away satisfied and it makes it easier. One of the really important things is to try and get across to people what money is about, why it's important. It is a tool, it's not the be all and end all, it has to fit within that, that clinical strategy and I do see it as part of our job is to try and enable our staff to deliver the best possible care, most appropriate care to their patients. Well I think it can happen from, uh, from the most simple and banal things, from turning a light off uh, when, they leave a, when they leave their department, but also things like with one of the initiatives we're, run, initiatives we're running in theatre is asking nurses who are scrubbing and assisting surgeons to think twice about whether they open two packets of swabs or, or five packets of swabs, and asking surgeons to think do they really need to open ten packets of sutures instead of five packets of sutures. And it's those sort of things that, that may seem a little bit banal in the first instance, but actually are really important they accumulate just because they're repeated so often. I can support this strategy to be successful by carrying on with my development and developing through and going on to do more MVQs and hopefully progressing upwards within my workforce. It's important to embed a good culture in the strategy and all staff need to believe in this culture because that makes for a better place of work. It's better for the patients, it's better for the staff, it's better for everybody as a whole and basically people need to believe in change as a positive thing.
I've been empowered to develop a sustainable service by being supported by a number of other people here in the Trust. It's a brand new service and we want to be ensuring that we show that it's evidence-based and does what patients need it to do. The idea for our trust strategy is to embed innovation, make sure that all our staff are trained in innovation and have the opportunity to innovate with the ultimate goal to try and improve patient care. Research is quite diverse, but by embedding research, one thing is true, is that research eventually improves outcomes of care. And I would challenge through our strategies that every person in this trust should be thinking about research and also every person should have the opportunity to innovate. So we, what we really want to do is create that culture where it's easy for people to do research and it's easy for people to put innovative ideas across. We've had a great deal of involvement from many members of staff within the organisation. We've had lots of discussions out in the community with patients and we've had a lot of patient engagement through our patient involvement groups as well, for which I'm enormously grateful for everyone who's taken the time, the energy, and has been really enthusiastic about playing a big role in the future of our organisation. What I'd really like is every single member of staff who's watching this to recognise that they all have an individual role to play. Unless everyone is engaged and you're talking about it within your team and recognising the individual role that you'll play, that strategy will not be delivered and we need everyone to really get on board uh, and make this happen. I think this strategy is really exciting for the service. I think it's that clear direction that staff are looking for to move Portsmouth forwards to be one of the best hospitals that provides the best care. For me, the strategy is really important as it helps to give us a direction for the future. I'm excited about having a strategy, but I think I'm really more excited about having a, a new team which knows what the vision is and shares the vision and can communicate it out to the wider, not just the staff within the trust, but the wider community as well.